हेलो ग्रीटिंग्स ऑफ द डे माय नेम इज सिमरन कोटक आई एम स्टडीइंग इन स्टैंडर्ड 9 श्री जी के थोड़ा क्या स्कूल माय प्रोजेक्ट नेम इज डिजाइन एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ इंटरलॉकिंग स्लैब एंड इट्स एनालिसिस नाउ अ इज द कंस्ट्रक्शन इंडस्ट्री इज बूमिंग एवरी कॉर्नर टू द वर्ल्ड देयर आर सेवरल वेज फॉर मेकिंग ब्रिक इट हैज बीन ऑलवेज चैलेंजिंग फॉर रिसर्चर्स टू मेक अ इंटरलॉकिंग ब्रिक विद लाइट वेट लो कॉस्ट एंड इंप्रूवमेंट इन परफॉर्मेंस इंटरलॉकिंग ब्रिक मैसोनरी हैज गेन रैपिड पॉपुलैरिटी इन इंडिया The main part of making house is to make slab which is to be filled in a single day when it has been started because if there is a gap in filling it it can generate crack and may cause the leakage problem so we have tried to eliminate such problem so we have made a ceiling brick in a way that it can get interlocked by their own and uh, slab can be filled according to our convenience The brick will be made by RCC material that is sand, cement, and mortar. The material would be in the ratio of one is to one is to two. At time of making brick, we have to put chicken mass after putting some material. This will strengthen our brick. The size of the brick is twelve inch in length, twelve inch in breadth, and four inch in height. I have given four slot at all the side of the brick whose length is two point five inch. Given four iron rod in brick whose length is thirteen inches, seven inches would be inside the brick and six inches would be outside the brick. It will be located at the end of the brick so that it will adhere in the brick hole of the next brick. On side, we have given slot. On that, we have to fill plaster material so that the brick of the another row would be fixed on it. Once when all the bricks are fixed, we can also add screw at corners or or at slots. Moreover, we can add solution at slots and borders to avoid leakage. I have staggered the iron rod so that it can strengthen the interlocking between the ceiling. Design of the brick would be same, but the arrangement of iron rod would be different in every alternate brick. Iron rod would be staggered as shown in the photo below. This is the top view of slab. At first, we have to put wooden stick for support. then arrange a fabricated block then put masonry material on their slots then put a screw at corners or at borders then put a plastering material or waterproofing material at slots and borders to avoid leakage and then do plastering and then remove the wooden sticks key benefits of my project quick construction cost effective simple technique local resource long term durability and low waste remarkable ways of utilization of interlocking slab a slab in cement road for rcc wall to make bridge and also as paver blocks